Shalom and welcome. The title of today's class, Which God Do You Follow? Which God do you follow? Because you need to understand there are many gods. There are lowercase gods or pagan gods and there's the most side, the one true living God. You need to understand which one do you follow as an individual. Who's teaching you? Who's teaching are you absorbing? Who's teaching are you understanding? We open up at Isaiah chapter 6, I read in verse 1 now. Isaiah 6 and 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. So Isaiah said, he saw, he saw the Mosai sitting on his throne. How is it possible that Isaiah as a mere man could see the Mosai? Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings, the, 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 upper, uh, um, the, upper, the upper echelon of angels. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me. Isaiah said, What? I'm going to destruction for me. I'm going to die. Because how is it possible I can see the most high as a mortal man? For I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. He said, I'm a mortal on the earth. How is it possible that I can see the most high sitting on his throne and see the seraphim? That's high level angels. For mine eyes have seen the king. The Lord of hosts, the Most High, uppercase L O R D. He said, I seen the Most High sitting on his throne. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, one of the angels come to him, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. So he's just similar to metaphors. He said, Come and do it. He come and teach him something. Come and deliver something from the Most High. Ties here. He put it where? On his lips. He planted something in him. Pay attention. He's given him power. Pay attention. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? The most I say what? Whom shall I send? And who will go from it to us? He said, Who shall I send? And who shall go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Send me. He says, send me. Isaiah says, what? Send me. I will go for, for the heavenly host, for the most high and the heavenly host. Yeah, pay attention. And he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. He said, Isaiah, go and prophesy and tell them, notify the Israelites that they're not understanding what's being taught in this book. Pay attention. He said, hear ye indeed. You're hearing it. You're, it's being read. You're hearing it. And understand not. You're not processing what you're hearing. Pay attention. For centuries, why? You're going you're gonna to understand why. Because why? Which God are you serving? Pay attention. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. We see and we read in the words in the book, but we're not having but perception of what we're reading. Because it, it, the parables and the mysteries are not being revealed. Make the heart of these people fat. Make their mind what? Fat. Pay attention. And make their eyes heavy and shut their eyes. We read in the book from Genesis to Revelation over and over and over and over. And it's not getting the, the deep mysteries that what it's talking about. The deep understanding of it. Pay attention. You see what? And let they shut their eyes. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, with their mind, and convert and be healed. He said, lest they should what? Read, read and perceive, hear and understand, and change. Change always. Pay attention from being sin or transgression, transgress, in, transgressing, from being in sins and transgression and violating the laws of God. And come back to the laws of God. Pay attention. We're going to, in other words, repent and return to our God. As we say, return to me and I will return to you. Stipulation. That's what he says. And then said I, Lord, how long? So when once you don't return, you can't be healed. Once you don't be converted or changed from the direction we are, we are following on this earth, or the, 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 the following the gods of this earth, or the God of this earth, pay attention. And not following the one true living God, the most high, pay attention. Following his laws, statutes, commandments, and judgment. We will be what? Blind and we will be deaf. You see, shut shut your eyes means what you're on your perception. You're reading physically, everybody reading physically, but the perception of what you're reading is not being revealed to you. And your, your understanding of what you're hearing is not being revealed to you. The most I say, I say, you go and shut it down. You need to pay attention. Shut down who? The churn of Israel. Pay attention. Then said I, Isaiah, Lord, how long? He said, for, for the most I, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, until I sack Jerusalem. Pay attention. And the houses without man. 
and the land be utterly desolate until I scatter them in the diaspora, pay attention. And then I will what? Start gathering them back, bringing them back to me, drawing them back to me, opening their eyes, they're reading, and then they will start to what? Perceive what they're reading, and they're hearing, and then they will start understanding what they hear, and bringing back the breath of life into it. That's what he said. That is the to the same talking about. And what? And the breath came into them, and they stood up on their feet, and exceeding great army. Pay attention. The most I bring them back, the breath or spiritual understanding, or perception, of what the Bible is talking about, what the mysteries in this book is about. Pay attention. It's all about you. The children of Israel. Pay attention. The children of Jacob, the twelve tribes. And the Lord have removed men far away. And the men, the most I have done what? Scattered us, scattered beyond from St. Pay attention. And even further, 16, 19, even further, dispersions. Pay attention. When they came and gathered us of the African diaspora, pay attention. We already scattered from 17, 17, 18, all throughout Europe, throughout the, the continent. Pay attention. We're running for our lives, pay attention. But what? The most I say what? Until what? The land be utterly wasted. Until I, I decimate everybody from the land. And the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a forsaken in the midst of the land. None of the children of Israel will be in the land. But yet in it shall be a tent, and it shall return and shall be eaten as a tell tree. The most I say what? The holy seed shall be the substance thereof. He said what? The holy seed of the elect. Who so be the, the one true living God, the most high God, the creator of all things. Pay attention. So if you don't return to the two, and so the one true living God, the most high, the creator of all things, you will return him back to the land. Thus said the Lord. Strike 32 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment. And he that trusted in him shall fear never the worst. So if you believe in the Most High, you're going to take heed or do the commandments. That's simple. He said, if you believe me, and you're serving the right God, you're going to do my commandments. If, if you don't do them, you're not serving me. The Most High said, that's the Most High. Matthew 13 and 53. And it came to pass that when Yahushua had finished these parables, he departed thence. And when he was coming to his own country, he went in where? In his own country, Nazareth in Galilee. He taught them in their synagogue. Insomuch that they were astonished. They were what? Astonished to hear the words coming out of his mouth. Pay attention. As many, many of our brothers, brothers and sisters will be astonished to hear the teachings. It's like, we never heard this. We never heard this. Pay attention. It's sung in foreign. This is now we were taught our whole life in, in, in you know, a pagan worship. You need to pay attention. You see what? They were astonished and said what? Whence had this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Where did Yahushua get that understanding from? Pay attention. Is not this the carpenter's son? That's not Joseph's son. Is not, is not his mother called Mary, and his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas, and his sisters, are they not all with us in the synagogues? They say what? Are they not all with us right in the, in the synagogues? Where he get this understanding from and this wisdom from? Whence then had this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Yahushua said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. He said, I know him. It's, it's, it's understandable that a prophet of the Most High will be rejected mainly in his own country and his what? His own house. What do you mean in his own house? Is he being metaphorical? He means yes, physically in his own house. Because his brothers, James, Joseph, Joseph and Simon, James, Joseph, Simon and Judas, and his sisters are with us in the synagogues. So they were of his own house, so they were reject him too. They didn't understand him. They didn't understand what he was teaching. And he did not many works, mighty works there because of their un unbelief. He did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. So he did, he did their unbelief prevented them from getting understanding and salvation. Pay attention. At the time. They didn't understand him at the time. Mark 6 and 1. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. He came back where? In his own countries, and his disciples with him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence had this man these things? So this is where Mark expounded what Matthew said. The same, par the same parable. From whence had this man these things? And what wisdom is this is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. Because he was converting people, he was healing people. Pay attention. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Josie, and Judah, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us in the synagogues? We are in the synagogues. And in the Sabbath day, and when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. So where, where, where are they? In the synagogue with us. And they were offended at him. But Yahushua said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin. Among his what? His own kin. And where? In his own house. So his own siblings were rejecting him. <laughs> he said what? Because they were rejecting him. And he could dare do no mighty work, 
save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them because of their unbelief. And he marveled because of their unbelief. He was astonished. He said, they don't understand the most high God, send a message, send his prophets to teach them. This is the way walking it. You all are wrong. You've been taught erroneous doctrine. You've been taught wrong doctrine, misguiding doctrines. By who? Another God, the God of this world. Pay attention. The God of this world, Satan, you need to pay attention. He said, what? And they what? They're not believing. They're not believing. He, and what? He marveled because of the unbelief and he went round about the villages teaching. So he what? He was shocked. <laughs> and he went teaching. His own what? His own kin in his own house. Physical kin. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. Mark 16. Mark chapter 16. Read 9. Mark 16, I read in 9, 9 to 14. And when Yahushua was risen early in the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. So she was demon-possessed, but she got, he, he, he healed her. <laughs> he healed her and she was following him. Pay attention, staunch, following him. And she went and told that had been with him as he mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. So she, she went and told the disciples, Yahushua is alive, he had risen. Because she, she, she went to the supper court. And he had risen, and she was telling them, he's not there, the sepulchre open, he's not there. And they didn't believe. After that he appeared in, a, in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. He what? Appeared in a, another, another form. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed in them. Afterward he appeared in the, unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. The man that what? Believe and is what? Baptized or converted or changed. You, you need to pay attention. You can't just believe because the teacher. Just believe, brother. Just believe, sister. They blow this, 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 this garbage in our ears <laughs> from, from kids coming up. Just believe. Under the grace and faith, you just have to be. Just believe and you shall be saved. Just believe in the Lord and you shall be saved. You shall say that? He that believeth. So actually, 224 say what? He that believeth, take it, heed to the commandments. You would do the commandments. So he that believeth, who would take, take, any, and what, take heed to the commandments and doing them, and is baptized, converted, or changed, or repent, or come back to the laws, shall be saved. Stipulation. You have to believe or do the commandments, and be what? Changed. Baptized means what? Changed. Not dip on water and come back and do the same thing. Pay attention. Baptized here. Right here. That's what you say what? The eyes of what? Blind their eyes and their perception of what they're reading and deafen their, their ears. They, they won't hear, but they're not understanding, processing what they're hearing. You have to be what? Baptized or believe, do the commandments, and be baptized or change, transform, or not conform to this world. Die when you be saved and be saved. Then you're going to receive salvation. Or you're going to be spiritually enlightened or be back to spiritual consciousness or awareness. Pay attention. What God you're serving, you need to pay attention. You will be, your eyes, your spiritual eyes will be open and you'll understand you're in, the, you're in Satan realm. You're in the dark realm. You're in hell. Pay attention. You'll be cast out. He said, how long? D darken their eyes until what? Until the land be desolate. Until I, d I scatter everybody from the land. Pay attention. But he that believeth not shall be damned. The man that don't believe shall be what? Damned. As he said, but his kin, his brother, his brother, his sister, his mother, they did not believe. They, 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 were, they, they were astonished at his word and they didn't believe. He said, even them, if they don't repent, return, repent and return to the them laws, I can save them. He said, what? He that believe not shall be damned. If you don't convert or change or return to the laws or take it to the commandments, you'll be your destined for damnation. But the teachers on this fourth institution, there is no condemnation, Romans, Romans 8 and 1. There is no condemnation for, the, for all who believe. Pay attention, Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Mashiach Yahushua. Pay attention. Paul says there is no condemnation for them who are, who are in Yahushua. Mean what? Who walk not after the flesh. Who, who what? Reject this, the sinful lifestyles. Who reject the things of this world. There is no condemnation for them. Pay attention. But after the Spirit. Uppercase S. This is uppercase S. Lowercase priority. After the what? The Holy Spirit. Or the Spirit of the Most High God. How will the Holy Spirit come on you? Except you what? Return or be baptized and change. Mean what? Baptized is not talking about dipping in water. It's talking about changing your mind, your, the thought process from sin and returning to the laws of the Most High God. Being what? Converted back to the laws. Pay attention. Or taking heed to the commandments by believing. 
So that he does what? There is no condemnation for them which which are in Yahush, Mashiach Yahushua who return to the Lord. Pay attention. No condemnation for them or destruction or damnation. Who walk not after the flesh. Who, not, who what? reject and forsake this lifestyle. That we say what? Even his own kin reject him. Pay attention. So he what? He has to leave them. But after the spirit who return to the law. Pay attention. They have to return to the laws. Return to the laws. Pay attention about the teaching. There's no condemnation. Just believe. He's not talking about if it. You have to believe or take heed. Do. Otherwise you'll die. Back to, back to Mark. Mark 16 and verse 6. Mark 16 and 16. He that believe it or take it into the commandments and is baptized or converted or changed or returned to the laws of Mosai God shall be saved. Pa pay attention. So the what? The blindness will be removed. The obscurity will be removed. removed. The deafness will be removed when you return or be converted or be baptized. Or that's where you're going to get saved. You become spiritually aware. But he that believeth not shall be damned. If you continue what? In flesh. Who, if you continue what? Walking after the flesh according to Romans 8 and 1. But who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit? Yeah, if you don't be baptized and changed or return and follow the laws of the Most High God, you're walking after the flesh. There is what? Damnation for you. There is condemnation for you. Pay attention. That by saying what? He that believeth is changed and is baptized shall be changed, shall be saved. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, converted. But he that believeth not shall be damned, or there is condemnation for you who walk in after the flesh. This life, I love it here. You're, you're destined for condemnation, except you, you, you get out of this. But the way Yahushua keeps saying, except you repent, you will perish. Luke 13 and 3. Except you repent, you will perish. If you love it here, you will die. Pay attention. If you don't believe, Romans chapter 3 and 3. Romans 3 and 3. What if, for what if some did not believe? What For what if some of our brothers and sisters do not believe that they must be changed? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect under their grace and faith, and they don't want to believe or take heed to the commandments according to Sirach 32 24? He that believe take it heed to the commandments. You're going to repent and return to the laws or be baptized in the mind or transform or change or reformed of your thought process of sin. Back to keeping the laws. Pay attention. And stop denying and blaspheming the most high. God. He says, shall they unbelieve? Because you don't believe, make the faith of God without effect. And they grace and faith. He said, will I, will, I, will I nullify your condemnation or your damnation if you don't believe? You will be judged. That's what he's saying. You will be judged. There is condemnation for you. Pay attention. But that's not what, the, that's not what we, we, we taught. Pay attention. He said, what if, what, yeah, what if they don't believe? Shall they, the faith, shall they unbelieve, make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let God be true and every man a liar. Pay attention. He said, let God be true and every man a liar. There will be condemnation if you don't believe, if you don't return. Pay attention. You must return. Now, Chad has said it. He that believeth not shall be damned. You will die if you don't return to them laws. Pay attention. You will die. First Timothy 1 and 1 to 18. Paul, an apostle of Yahushua, by the commandment of God, our Savior, and the Lord Yahushua, Hamashiach. Which is our hope? He said, I was made an apostle by the commandment of Yahushua and the Most High God. Unto Timothy, my son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Yahushua, Hamashiach, our Lord. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went on into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. He said, what? Charge them, them who learn in there, in that school to teach what? No other doctrine than thus said the Lord, whether they hear or whether they forbear. Pay attention. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. Pay attention. There was men who to teach you fables and what? Genealogy, 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 this, this, with this. Pay attention. He said, don't give heed to that. Endless the teaching here, yeah? repent and return to them laws. Pay attention. He said, what? Well, that's another doctrine they teach you. Pay attention. Don't give heed to them. And don't let them, don't follow them. Which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith, so do now. Pay attention to the teaching of all kind of erroneous doctrines and the failure to correct. When the most I, because the most I say, I will correct thee in measure. If it, you're teaching something, you were taught something wrong and you teach it wrong and you have, you're with the Spirit and the Holy Spirit is on you, the most I will correct you. This thing happens over and over. The most I will correct you and reveal, and show you that right in the scripture. Okay, this is what he's talking about. And you just, if you're full of pride, you will not change. If you're full of pride, you will sit down and be plump and be um, staunch in what you, what you indoctrinated in. Pay attention. 
and you went humble down to the most high, let the Holy Spirit guide you. Pay attention. And continue what? Not godly edifying. Pay attention. You if you teach something at the most high that you were taught falsely or erroneously by those who were before you, they don't understand. And you were taught that and you're teaching it, and the most I correct you. Correct it, correct it. Correct it. Pay attention. Forget pride. Forget arrogance. The most I correct it and keep it moving. The most I correct you, correct it. It's right in the scriptures. Okay, read it, correct it, read it, teach it. Because the most I is the one revealing it to the Holy Spirit. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good sight, of, of a good conscience, and of faith on faith. From which some, having swerved, have turned aside unto vain jangling. Unto what? Vain jangling. Blah, 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 blah. Give me the opinion. The opinion, the own thoughts, the own feelings, the own emotions. And I see this, and, and you need to pay attention. He called it vain jangling. Pay attention. Or what? Teach in other doctrines. They teach in what? Other doctrines. Desiring to be teachers of the law. They what? They have the zeal to be what? I'm the prophet of the Lord. I'm the man of the Lord. Desiring to be teachers of the law. You have that desire. To teach what? The law. What? Because this book is a book of the law. From Genesis to Revelation, it's a book of law. Don't get it twisted. The New Testament, Old Testament, is still teaching laws of God. All the laws of God. Pay attention. It's not teaching it. Britain and God, most like God laws. Pay attention. And their grace and faith, why were they persecuting the apostles and the prophets? For teaching God laws. Pay attention. Why were they rejecting them? For teaching God laws. New Testament, yeah. Pay attention. Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say. They're not understanding what they're, they're, they're reading. They're not understanding what they're teaching. They're just reading from the book and regurgitating. And the Holy Spirit is not giving them understanding, full understanding. What is he talking about? Pay attention. He said, what? Understanding neither what they say. They're reading the Bible, they're reading the laws, they're reading the New Testament and say it beyond the grace and faith. Pay attention and continue to violate God's laws. Pay attention. Continue to willful sin. Even though you become conscious, pay attention. You wake up, you're in the truth, you wake up to the understanding. And you still continue to violate the laws. Because why? Understanding neither what they say. What you're blaspheming and blasting with, you're not understanding it. Whether, no whether, they are firm. Because they're standing by the book. You're testifying the book. But you're not doing, applying what the book says. But we know that the law is good if a man uses it lawfully. It's good if you use it what? Lawfully. Thus said the Lord. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. It's not made for a what? A righteous man. A righteous man is one who keeping the commandments of the law of the, of the Most High God zealously. You keeping the law. He says, if you keeping the law, the law doesn't doesn't is not going to affect you because you keeping the law. That's what he's saying. He's not trying to violate the law. If it's not made for the man who keeping the law, because the law sin is, is, is uh, sin is become has or has become irrelevant to him. He's keeping the law. So that law don't need defile food. He know that he need to defile food. That law don't apply to him no more because why? He has overcome that law. Now it becomes second nature. I need to know defile food. Pay attention. That's all he's saying. The law is, is not what? Made for a righteous man. That's all he's saying. He's not saying one by the laws. You're going to die. You're unrighteous. You will die. He's saying what? The ones who have overcome it, it, does, that, it, doesn't, it has no effect to them again because they're doing it. <laughs> they're doing it. The law is not made for a righteous man. The man who's keeping the law already. But for the lawless, for the man who's breaking it. The one who in violation. The one who eating the defiled foods, pay attention. The one who limits a sin, that's what they make for to correct it. So be what? To be born, become baptized and changed. So your blindness, you're reading, but your consciousness, but your perception is going to be what? Open. And your hearing and your thought process will be, you will get understanding. It made for the lawless and the disobedient. The ones who what? Disobeying the laws. So it's not made for the one who obeying it, he already obeying it. It means it's not going to be able to condemn you. You're not going to get condemnation because you're obeying. But for the lawless and the disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, all violators of the law, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for homongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, the law is made for you once you're violating the most high God laws. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1. Wherefore, holy brethren, Partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high piece of our profession, Mashiach Yahushua, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house had made had more honor than the house, the sort of builder. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. So Moses testified what? 
the laws which were which going to be what spoken after by all the prophets of the Most High God. Pay attention. As Yahushua come and speak, the same thing that Moses spoke, the laws of God. You see what? As Moses was faithfully in all his house as a servant of who? The Mosai, for a testimony of those things uh, which were to be spoken after the laws, the laws of the Mosai God. But Mashiach, as a son over his own house, whose house are we? If, stipulation, we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Under your grace and faith, you have to keep the laws of God. Pay attention. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, the Holy, Holy Spirit, today, if you will hear his voice, what do you mean hear his voice? Obey the commandments. If you will understand, you're seeing, but you're not processing. You, so you're seeing, but you're not perceiving. You're hearing, but you're not processing. If you will process, pay attention, or perceive what he's teaching. Why did his own king reject him? Because they were not processing or perceiving what he was teaching. A prophet is not without honor in, by, among his own kin and in his own house. We just said his siblings, his siblings rejected him. Pay attention. In the beginning, they rejected him. But he said, what? Today, if you will hear his voice, if you perceive and understand, harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with the generation and said, they do always err in their heart, in their mind, and they do not, sorry, and they have not known my ways because they're not processing or perceiving what is being taught. Pay attention. Most I say, they have not known his ways. So I swear in my wrath, in my what? My wrath of vengeance. They shall not enter into my rest. Most I say, I swear in my vengeance, that my condemnation for them, I will destroy them. Take it, brethren, lest there be in any one of you, in any of you, an evil heart of unbelief. A what? Evil mind. Of unbelief. So if you can't believe, pay attention or you can follow the most I go laws. He say you have an evil mind, an evil mind of unbelief in departing from the living God. Pay attention. He say you have an evil mind and you have depart departed from the most high. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But on but with some, sorry, but with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that sinned? Whose carcasses fell in the wilderness, and to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. The most I say, what? If they don't believe or take it to the commandments, they cannot enter my kingdom. Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore hear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. So what? Come short. For unto us, because what it teaches us. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's what they teach us. So then when they do that, they, 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 they regurgitating and programming to you. So you're thinking, okay, I've done, I, I can strive harder. We all f fall short. So what? We're going to make it anyway. Because I am striving harder. We all short. We, call, we come short. It means we cannot keep the laws. Because the laws is what? We come short. Pay attention. We fall in short. We cannot, we cannot measure up to the statue of Yahusha or the Mosai. Pay attention. So they teach it to what? Not believe in yourself. Pay attention. Self doubt. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So um, Paul is saying the word was preached to us in the church of God and into them. Where were they going? In the synagogue teaching them. Pay attention. But so that's they did what? They, they heard it not. It did not profit them because they did not believe. Pay attention. They did not follow the Most High God. They did not follow the laws. They choose to follow the Pharisees in the synagogue. Pay attention. And to do their own thing. Pay attention. Many of the brothers, brothers and sisters. For we which have believed do enter into rest. He said what? In the church of the Mashiach, the church of the Most High God, the church of God, they will enter into rest, into the kingdom. That, when Isaiah talking about the Holy See will inherit the land. Pay attention. He said what? We which believe shall what? Enter into his rest. Pay attention. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, or that the works are finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from his, all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter in my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter there, and some will get back in the kingdom, the, the, the holy seed will get back who believe and take heed. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. He came unto his own and his own received him not. He came to the leaders, the rulers of the nation, and they rejected him. Many of, the, many of our brothers and sisters rejected him. As many of our brothers and sisters will now reject the word of God. Pay attention. So they could not what? Enter into the kingdom or the renaissance to rest everlasting life or back to the garden of Eden to get back to the garden of God. Pay attention. 
because of unbelief. You don't believe. Pay attention. You don't believe. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. If you hear the blue word being taught, he said what? Harden not your mind. It's we harden our mind and rejecting the word of God. Pay attention. We're not allowing it to, to marinate or penetrate. Pay attention. By being what? Stiff-necked and being what? Seared in what? The old teachings that we get, the old gospel, the old doctrine. The, all, all are sin and come short. Pay attention. So what? You know what? We ain't going to strive. We ain't striving. We don't want to fight for our life, fight for our soul. Pay attention. For he that has entered into his rest, who will enter into the kingdom, he also had ceased from his own works, from doing your own thing, or sin, or violation, violation of the Most High God laws, as God did from his. Pay attention. Let us labor, therefore, to enter as Yahushua, what? Cease from doing your own thing. Pay attention. And he did what? The, the will of the Father. He did his Most High God laws. Let us labor, therefore, pay attention. When the teacher, all has come short. What did Paul say? No. Be what? What only means is what? All that. All that comes short of the glory means what? We were born in sin. We were born in sin. In sin, my mother conceived me. Psalm 50. That's what we say, 50 and 7. In sin, did my mother conceive me? Yeah, but what? You have to labor, therefore, to enter into the rest. Labor to enter into everlasting life or get back into the Garden of Eden or the kingdom. Pay attention. Back to the Garden of Eden, you sure will lead it back to the Most High. Pay attention. You have to what? Labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Lest any man fall. What? Fall short or get condemned or damned. After the same example of unbelief, that's a kill everybody in the wilderness. Pay attention. After the what? Same example of unbelief as they did in what? Chapter 3 and verse 17. But with whom was he grieved 40 years? The most I mad. Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? He put them to death, or brothers and sisters, to death. All came out of Egypt. Pay attention. He only sent you Caleb, Joshua, and the, the kids, the underage kids who didn't understand good from, good from, from bad. Pay attention. They were innocent in other words. Pay attention. That's who went into the promised land. The most I say what? After the same man of unbelief. So guess what he's coming to do here now? You think you're going back in the garden in, in, a, in, a, in a man of unbelief in the midst of sin? It's not happening. You need to pay attention. You're going to fall right here in where it's scattered. Pay attention. After the same man of unbelief. But this is New Testament. This is Paul. You need to pay attention. He say what? Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor therefore to enter into the rest. Strive to keep them commandments. Lest any man fall. After the what? The same man in the wilderness. Whose carcasses fell in the wilderness. After the same example of unbelief, who get put to death after the exodus from Egypt. So guess what's going to happen in this exodus? If you don't return to the Lord, or strive or fight for your life, or fight for your soul to come back to the Most High God laws, you will, your carcasses will fall right here in the wilderness. The same way, pay attention, because of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the mind, of the, the mind, your heart is the mind. The laws of God is what's going to what pierce you and make you feel guilty. And you're going to do it. You're going to repent and stop. Pay attention. Stop violating the most high God laws. Luke 7, verse 6. Then Yahushua went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee. But say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. So he had sent for the Yahushua to heal the servant that was dying. And he said, what? Yahushua, just say the word, and my servant will be healed. He said, what? I'm not worthy for you to come into my house, neither I'm worthy to come in your presence. Pay attention. He said, what? Just say the word. And there came fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, that a great prophet is risen among us, and that God had visited his people. They say, what? A great prophet has risen up again among them. Pay attention. And most, the Moses had visited his people. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. The, the Pharisees reject the counsel, not being baptized of who? John the Baptist. Pay attention. So they reject the counsel of the Mosai. Pay attention. So which God are they following? Pay attention. If they refuse or reject the counsel of the Mosai, the one true living God, who is their God? Which God they are following? Satan. You need to pay attention. So if you reject the, 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 the laws, you must return to the Mosai God laws and repent and return to the laws. You are following the God of this world. Pay attention. Satan, you're not following the Most High. The Most High said, I give you laws, statutes, commandments, and judgment, and testimonies, and precepts, and ordinances for your good. Follow me. Do them. Pay attention. If you're not doing them, you're not following me. Pay attention. <laughs> Which God do you follow? Jonah chapter 1, I read verse 1. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise and go to Nineveh, 
that great city and cry against it, for the wickedness has come up before me. The Moses said, Jonah, go and prophesy against Nineveh. Go and what? Prophesy against the ministry. When he said, cry against it, prophesy against it. Say, thus said the Lord. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found the ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Because Jonah said the men in, in Nineveh was evil herself. Pay attention. So Jonah said, I ain't going on They're going to put me to death. <laughs> they will put me to death. So he said, what? I'm going away from them. The most I say, what? If you are the spirit of the most I go, the most I say, I have no, have no spirit of fear. There's no spirit of fear. When my Holy Spirit is the spirit of the most I God. Pay attention. He said, Jonah, go on, to, go on prophesy against them. But the Lord sent out a great wind unto the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be like to be broken. So the most I said, rock the rock the ocean. Then the mariners were afraid and cried everyone unto his God. Unto what? His God. They were, so, they were worshiping. You need to let me say. Which God do you follow? These heathen were what? Worshipping their God, the earthly hidden hidden gods. Pay attention, the idols. And cast forth the waves that were in the ship into the sea. So they had a true thing in the sea. To lighten it of them. But Jonah was going down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. Jonah sleeping. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. Thy what? Uppercase G O D. Uppercase G? Look, so he said, Call upon your God. They were calling to what? His God. That's the lowercase G-O-D. <laughs> Verse 5. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God. That's the lowercase G-O-D. Pay attention. Pagan gods. Pay attention. And back to verse 6. He said, Arise and call upon thy God. Uppercase G. The Mosai. He said, Call upon your God. If so be that God, your God, will think upon us that we perish not. He said, What if your God will think upon us? Pay attention. The heathen. And they said, Everyone to his fellow, Come, and let us cast lots. That we may know, they cast in what? Lots. That we may know for whose cause this evil has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thy occupation? And whence comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? They say, Who are you? Where are you from? <laughs> what is your nationality? And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew. He said, What? I am an Hebrew. They were heathen. And I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which had made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. So he told them why he was running, going to Tarshish. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee? That the sea may calm unto us. For the sea wrought and was temp tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not. For the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not up us, upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, has done as it pleased thee. So they, what? they, pray, they pray to the what? The most high. They say, pray to your God now. They pray to the most high God. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly. And offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jonah 3 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, The most I come to him again. Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. The most I said, Go on, go on what? Cry against them the preaching or what the, that I bid you, commanded you to do. Pay attention. So the men of God are bidden or commanded of the Most High God to go and what? Cry against sin. Cry against the sinful kingdom. Pay attention. The Most High say what? Go and preach. That I bid means what? Command. I command you. Go and do a commandment. Go do your assignment. Pay attention. So Jonah rose and went. You can't run away from this. You can't shy away from this. You've been, you've been sent. Pay attention. The Most High say go and do your assignment. And so Jonah rose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. You see what? In forty days, Nineveh shall be overthrown, because it's a big city. He said, but take him three days across it. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed the fast, and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him, and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, 
Let neither man nor beast nor herd nor flock taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Up in Mosai, yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hand. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works and that they turned from the evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them. And he did it not. Pay attention. Most I say they repent and he said he spared them. He spared them. Jonah chapter 4 and verse 1. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly and he was very angry. So the most I spared him and Jonah get mad. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray to you, Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish. For I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. He said, I know you are merciful, long-suffering, forbearing. Therefore, now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me. Jonah said, put me to death, Lord. And pay attention. For it is better for me to die than to live. He said, kill me. Then said the Lord, do as thou well be, sorry, do as thou well to be angry? The most I said, Jonah, why are you angry? <laughs> he said, do you good to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made him a boot and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. So he still long waited to see the Mosai just destroy the city anyway. And the Lord God prepared a god and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceeding glad of the god. So the Mosai was shading him and God prepared a worm when the morning rose of the next day. And it smote the god that it withered. And it came to pass, when the sun did rise, that God prepared a vehement east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah, and that he fainted, and wished himself to die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, Doest thou well to be angry for the God? So he said, Jonah, why are you angry about everything? Why are you angry? Pay attention. And he said, I do well to be angry, even not to death. Jonah said, I, I, I have a right to be mad, because he sent me to prophesy. I know they were wicked as hell. He sent me to prophesy. Pay attention. And he spared them now. <laughs> Pay attention. Juma want to see fireworks. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the God, for, for the which thou hast not labored, neither made us it grow, which came up in a night, and perished in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons. Six what? Six score thousand. Six to the twelve, a hundred and twenty thousand people in that city. Pay attention, he said, What well, Jonah, you 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 worried about the God that the God that grew up and, and get put did get a kill. The most I did it to show him an example. Pay attention. Of mercy. And what? Should I not spare any ever? That great city, where are more than six score thousand, hundred and twenty thousand people that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand. The most I say these people in the never cannot what? This one between the right hand and the left hand. They can't tell right hand from left hand. Means what? They, they don't know sin from law keeping the law. Pay attention. They don't know sin from law. They don't know righteousness from unrighteousness. Pay attention. The most I say. <laughs> and also much and what? Also much cattle. <laughs> Which will be one and thirty nine. I read from 30, 35. Surely there shall not one of these men of the, this evil generation see that good land. None of these uh, the Israelites that go what in a continuous midst of sin in the wilderness. Pay attention as we read in Hebrews. He said what they were put to death in the wilderness. See that good land. Go into the land of Canaan. Which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save only Caleb the son of Jephne. He shall see it. And to him will I give the land that he had trodden upon. And to his children. Because he had wholly followed the Lord. He said Caleb will get in the promised land. Because he wholly followed me. Pay attention. He baptized in his mind. And we converted a change. Pay attention. He wholly followed the Lord. Uppercase L O R D. He's not following Loki's God. Pay attention. He's not following heathen gods. Pay attention. He must say, follow me. He kept the laws. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, Moses said. The most I was what? Angry with me for you, children of Israel's sakes. Saying, Thou also shalt not go in hither, thither. So the most I, Moses said, the most I tell me, I'm not going in either. Pay attention. For your sakes, because we were murmuring, murmuring about this, murmuring about that, and causing Moses, and caused Moses to sin. Moses smite the rock. And to get to get water and but the mistake he made was taking credit. He did not say the most I say, he said, I smite it. Pay attention. He didn't give the credit to the most I so the most I punish him for that. And Moses said, It's because of you children of Israel, pay attention, you murmuring and crying, pay attention. That thou shalt what? That thou shalt not go in. I am not going into the promised land. But Joshua the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither. 
encourage him. It's the most I say, Moses, build him up. And Moses said to the people, follow him. For he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Because the most I say, I will send him and he's going to rebel. He's going to rebel. He's going to rebel. Moreover, your little ones, which he said, should be a prey to the heathen, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, the innocent ones, who don't understand the right hand from the left hand. Let me see. Them ones who don't understand the right hand from the left hand, they shall go into the and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. So Caleb is going to what? rebuild with the innocent one. Pay attention. Pure minds and teach them. Thus said the Lord. Pay attention. To, to pay attention. They have no, no, no guy, no sin. No craftiness. See them one. They, have, they don't know the left hand from the right hand. Ascending Caleb, Joshua, and them, them little children who don't know guy and craftiness. That was the most I say in um, Jonah 4 and 11. And should I not spare any of her, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand men, 120,000 persons that cannot discern between the right hand and the left hand. That's what the most I say in Leviticus 18 and 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, shall you not do? And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither you shall go, shall you not do? Because they don't do after their ordinances. They, they don't know the difference between the law, keeping the law and breaking the law. They don't understand right and wrong. They have a different spirit. <laughs> you need to pay attention. The most I say, they have a different spirit. Your cogitations is different to them. Your perception is different to them. Your understanding is different to them. Your eyes that you see through, your lenses are different to them. Pay attention. I created them for destruction. Pay attention. That's my, the, the vessels of my wrath. Pay attention. My punisher. <laughs> Pay attention. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. I read 1 to 4. 1 to 6. Second Corinthians 4, 1 through 6. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. You have to do what? Renounce or reject sin. The hidden things of this, this, dishonesty or secret sin, pay attention, or violation of Most High God, renounce it. Be not what? Conformed to this world, but be transformed or changed. Changed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renounce it. That way, I should keep saying, when you say, say baptized, mean what? Renounce sin. Change here in your mind, not dipping water, and you come back, continue doing the same thing. You cannot enter him because of unbelief. That's what he's telling you. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. You have to what? Reject sin. Not walking in craftiness. Reject guile and craftiness. Pay attention. Thinking is just, so clever than your, 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 your brother. Thinking you're more cunning than your sister. That's craftiness. Pay attention. No walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Handling what? The word of God deceitfully, you're reading this book, you're reading the law, they're testifying, you're prophesying, and you're not doing what the book says. Pay attention. You're handling the what? Craftily with guile. You're teaching what? Deceptive, seductive doctrines. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. You see what? You're handling the word of God craftily. No handling the word of God deceitfully. You're handling the word of God deceitfully. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves in every man's conscience in the sight of God. By, what do you mean manifestation of the truth? Just said the Lord, whether they hear whether they forbear. The most I say, Jonah, go and tell them what I say. Pay attention. If they don't repent, I won't kill them all in that city. Pay attention because but and Jonah went and they all repent. But if our gospel be hid, if you don't understand, it is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to what? The ones that are lost. That not understanding. They're reading but they're not perceiving. They're hearing but not understanding. Pay attention. They are not getting it. I'm not getting it. The most I say you're lost. Pay attention. Means what? Which God are you following? You're following another God. You ain't following me. Pay attention. In whom the God of this world, who? The God. This is a lowercase G-O-D. This is a what? Lowercase G-O-D. Satan, the God of this world, had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Satan had what? Blinded them. That's why they're lost. That's why they cannot understand this, this teaching. That was the same one. The God of this world had blinded them which believe not. They do not believe. So as long as they don't believe, they're not going to understand nothing. Pay attention. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The what? The glorious gospel of Mashiach. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Return to them, Lord. Pay attention. For we preach not ourselves, but Mashiach, Yahushua, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahushua's sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, out of what? The Lord to shine into what? Sin and iniquity and abomination, darkness, had shined in our hearts, our mind, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Yahushua Mashiach. That's why it's the most high is the one that's going to move your obscurity or your darkness. You, you pay attention or a blockage. That's why Isaiah 6 and 9, the most I say, blind them. <laughs> blind them until, but 
I ready to remove that obscurity from them. Pay attention. So give the command, Satan might blind them, take them out. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be, a, may be of God and not of us. Not on your what? Leaning on your own understanding. But on who? The Most High God. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of our Lord Yahushua. That the life also of Yahushua might be made manifest in our body. That who? The Spirit of the Most High God, or the eternal life or everlasting life, the Holy Spirit, could be what? Manifest in our body, just like Yahushua manifests and rose back to the Father. Pay attention. So you have to what? Die in the flesh. Pay attention to overcome or to fall. Yahushua, Holy Spirit, to come and to come into you and what? Deliver you out. Pay attention. For the Spirit of the Most High and, and His Son to come into you and deliver you out. For we which live, live what? Everlasting life or eternal life are always delivered unto death. For Yahushua's sake, that the life also of Yahushua might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Pay attention. You have to what? Sacrifice your life in this world. What do the things you love, the things you like? For the life of Yahushua. Pay, pay attention to manifest in your mortal flesh. To get spiritual. To become spirit beings. Pay attention. To be raised out of this hell. Or to this pit. So then death worketh in us, but in but life in you. Pay attention. You see what? Death work in us, but what? Life in you. Pay attention. Me, what we're going to sacrifice all <laughs> to save you. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. For which cause we faint not. But do our outward man perish? Do what? Our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Because you're dying daily of your sins, daily, overcoming your sins daily. Pay attention. And physically, you say physically, if you die, you physically die, you're being what? Spiritually enlightened or renewed. Back to God, back to the angels. Pay attention. John 6, I read in 27. Labor not for the meat that perish. Labor what? Not for the meat that perish it. But for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Yahushua say what? Not for earthly meat, but what? The meat that endureth for everlasting life, for the kingdom. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him had God the Father sealed. The most I seal the Son and send him. And say, follow me. Verse 35. And Yahushua said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. When he mean come to him, he say, Who would obey what I teach him? I will in no way cast you from where? Cast out of where? The, the deny you from getting the kingdom. Pay attention. Otherwise, I cast you into the lake of fire. If you don't come to me, pay attention. Only who? All that the Father giveth to me, come to me. Only, you could only come to Yahushua, follow what he's teaching, or understand his teaching, or come to the Lord if the Mosai anointed you to do it. Pay attention. If you put the Holy Spirit on you to get the understanding. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will. Yahushua said, never come to do what? My own will. But the will of him that sent me. They pay attention. They teach you what? Yahushua come and, and, and give you grace and faith. That will they teach us in this false institution. We have so much gum here. So much false teachings and false doctrines. That we had to overcome it. Just submit and surrender to the Mosai. And let him purge all the sin. All the erroneous doctrine that we taught. Even wake up and come into the truth. And being taught erroneous doctrine by many of our virgins. They try and pay attention, but in ignorance, they teach him many false doctrines, and if the, it in, in, it's become an inculcated in you, and then the most had to what? Purge it. Pay attention. By you, if, if the most I call, call you, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. You will come to Yahushua, and you will submit, and you will understand. And him that cometh to me, I will know as cast out. The most I, the Holy Spirit, will guide you. Pay attention. And purge them false doctrines out. Pay attention. And guide you on the right path. This is what it means. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the book is saying. Pay attention. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he had given me, the men that the most had given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day, at judgment day. I'm going to raise them up, up back to immortals, back to everlasting life, back into the kingdom of God. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone who seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. He, when he's talking about raise up, it's to everlasting life. Pay attention. Back to angels. Pay attention. And I will raise him up at the last day. At the judgment day, I will what? Raise him up. I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. 
And they said, Is not this Yahushua, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? Yahushua therefore answered and said unto them, Woman not among yourselves. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. He said, My spirit is what comes down here. Don't look at the body. <laughs> it's what the spirit that comes with the body. That's what, he, that we trying to, that's what he's telling them, and they cannot perceive it. They're not understanding what he said. Yahushua therefore answered and said unto them, Woman not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Draw him. He said, Stop murmuring. <laughs> Pay attention. If all in understanding, the most I don't draw you to me. If you are not understanding, he said, What? The Most High did not draw you to understand. The Most High don't want you to understand. That's what he said. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. The Most High draw him. Pay attention. And I, Yahushua, will raise him up at the last day because judgment is mine. Pay attention. You see what? I have the power. Pay attention. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that had heard and had learned of the Father, come unto me. Pay attention. If you have the Spirit of the Most High God, you will come to the teaching and you will understand. I gravitate to what I wish to teach it. That's what he's saying. Not that any man had seen the Father, save he which is of God, but he had seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. If you don't believe, say you, you will be damned. You have to believe to get everlasting life. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. And from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Many of them what? Went back. Why did he say that? But there are some of you that believe not. Yahushua called them out. He said some of them don't believe. Well, they just follow me for the Father. For Yahushua knew from the beginning who they would that believe not and who should betray him. He said, many are what? Going to what? Betray him. Pay attention. They just follow him for the in thing. Pay attention. They're going along for the right. For the right. And he said, but many of them went back <laughs> from following him. They won. Gone back into the wood, back into the synagogues, back into their lifestyle, a little bit of love here. John 7, I'm reading 1 to 5. John 7 and 1. After this, St. Yahushua walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. So he leave Jerusalem and gone. Because the who? The Pharisees and the followers and many of the Israelites, brethren, were trying to what? Kill him. His brethren, therefore, said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. He said, Go into Judea. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret. His who? His brethren. His brethren said that, said that to him. Pay attention. His what? His own kin. His own kin. Kindred. Not talking about the disciples. He's talking about his kindred. They say, Go, go to Judea. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret. And he himself seeketh to be known openly. He said, Well, no man, no man is going to what? Do nothing but under the dung, hide in. Pay attention. I don't want to teach. I don't want to preach. I don't want to testify the Mosai. I don't want to confess Yahushua and the Mosai openly. Pay attention. He said, no man does anything in secret and yet and secret to be known. How are going, people going to understand the dangers that's coming? Pay attention. Most I say, go and give them warning. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. They say what? If you come to heal, you have to what? Go and show yourself to the world. As we are here, what? Showing ourselves to the world. Pay attention. Except you repent, you're going to perish. Which God do you follow? Pay attention. Then Yahushua said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. He said, my time to die is not ready. He said, don't worry. But your time is always ready. You have to keep them laws. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated because I testify of it that the world care by evil. He said, they hate me because why? I'm calling out their sins. I am testifying that the works are evil. They're in the midst of sin. Pay attention. So they're going to hate my behind. He said, the world cannot hate you, you, but it hated me. Me it hated because I testify that the works they are by evil in the midst of sin. And they hate it being reproved. They hate being corrected. Pay attention, our brothers and sisters. Hate Correction. That the most I does say the Lord. Yahushua say they hate it. They hate me because I testify, I call in all their sins. I reprove and rebuke and correct them. Pay attention. That's love. That's the love in the Leviticus 19, 17, 18. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, but thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Not suffer him to get condemnation or damnation or get put to death. Or be cast out. Pay attention. That's the love. Jump to verse 19. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keep the law. Why go you about to kill me? You shall tell the Pharisees of what? And the Jews, the followers, Moses gave them the law. The same law they're reading. Pay attention. The same law they're reading. They want to be teachers of the law and not understanding what they confess or what they profess. They're not understanding. He said, did not Moses give you the law? 
Yet none of you keep the law. Why go you about to kill me? Yahushua called them out. He said, none of you Pharisees are keeping the law. <laughs> You're not keeping the laws of God. You need to pay attention. Jump to verse 13. John, do jump to verse 13. I read verse 37 now. 37 to 39. Jump to verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood up and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith what? The Lord. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his what? His belly shall flow rivers of living water. What is this talking about, rivers of living water? Pay attention. Talk about water coming out of your mouth. Pay attention. But this speak he of the Spirit is the uppercase S, lowercase P R I T. The Holy Spirit. The rivers of living water is the Holy Spirit. Pay attention. If you do what Yahushua coming to you, command you to do, the Spirit of Him and the Father, the Holy Spirit, will come unto you and will flow out of you like rivers of living water. That's why most I said they will be revealing mysteries, dark sayings, hidden that been hidden from the foundation of the earth. Because it's the Holy Spirit revealing it. Pay attention. But this fake he of the Spirit. Because if you believe, you take heed to the commandments and do them, as the scripture commanded, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. When he teaching, the what? The Holy Spirit. The speak what? Of the Spirit. Which they that believe on him should receive. Receive what? Uh, uppercase S, lowercase P, R, T. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit on the Most High. Pay attention. So who is teaching? The Holy Spirit on the Most High. <laughs> you need to pay attention. Yeah, the, the Spirit of Yahushua, the Comforter, and the Holy Spirit on the Most High. For the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, was not yet given. The Holy Spirit was not yet given. Because that Yahushua was not yet glorified. He was still walking as a man, man on earth physically. So he had to go back and then he said, I remember my Spirit and the Father's Spirit on you. Pay attention. So out of your belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water, understanding beyond what the, the comprehension, understanding beyond anything that's been taught on the earth. Pay attention. You pay attention up to that point. You just say what? Out of your belly, going to flow what? Rivers of living water. Thus said the Lord. Pay attention. And many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth that this is the, the prophet. They said, that's the prophet that's supposed to come. That's him. Others said, this is the Mashiach. But some said, shall Mashiach come out of Galilee? So is there what? Any good thing that come out of the hood? You need to pay attention. He's not of prestige. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. He's not learned in our fake institutions. You need to pay attention. He's not indoctrinated in our false teachings. Pay attention. Because he has what? The uppercase spirit according to verse 39. But this key of the uppercase S, lowercase priority, the Holy Spirit. Which they that believe or take it to the commandments or do on him, the Mosai should receive. If you do the commandments and follow the Mosai God, he send his Holy Spirit on you. Pay attention. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Pay attention. You will get understanding, teachings that you never heard, never understand. You need to pay attention. That's what they say. Any good thing you come out of Galilee? He come from the hood. He's a hood man. Pay attention. <laughs> the Mosai say, I choose who I choose. Where did I send my son from? Out of Galilee, out of the ghetto, out of the hood. Pay attention, yes. Had not the scripture said that Mashiach come out of the seed of David and out of the tongue of Bethlehem, where David was? Because what? They didn't understand. He is the seed of David. They didn't understand yet. Yep. He is of the seed of David. Go to Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews. Hebrews 7 and 14. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses speak nothing concerning priesthood. He is of what? The tribe of Judah. Of Jude, the seed of David. That would almost say of your loins. I will raise upon the set on your throne. The continuation of kings in the, of the United Kingdom. Pay attention. That's where I wish, that's his purpose. Pay attention. Back to um, John 7 and 41. Others said, This is the Mashiach. But some said, Shall Mashiach come out of Galilee? Shall he come out of the hood? Shall our Savior or that prophet, that mighty prophet, come from the hood? So there was a division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officer answered, Never man speak like this man. They, they say what? We never hear a man teach like this. Because out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And all who follow me out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. Pay attention. They will say what? Never speak, man speak like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? They say what? 
Are you also deceived? Pay attention. So these are the nation, the leaders. So who, what God are they following? Pay attention. They are following the God of this world, Satan. Pay attention. That's why they cannot understand what you are teaching. Pay attention. He said, no man can come to me except the Father draw him. Pay attention. That's why they reject him, because the most I didn't draw them to him. They are not his children. Pay attention. They are Israelite born, but they are not of the most I they are following Satan. Pay attention. Have any, have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? But these people who know it, not the law, are cursed. Pay attention. They say what? They don't know the law. They, 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 they're saying what? Yahushua don't know the law. He's cursed. Pay attention. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to Yahushua by night, being one of them. Yahu Nicodemus was secretly going to get and uh, being taught by Yahushua. Pay attention. But they call him cursed. The, our law, they call him who? They talk about um, the Yahushua and his followers. They call them these people. These people. That our Lord, Nicodemus said, that our Lord judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth. Nicodemus said, we're supposed to call him before, the, the, before the, the governing body. They answered and said unto him, the Pharisees, the fellow Pharisees saying what? Are thou also of Galilee? They tell Nicodemus what? You from Galilee too? You from Galilee? Pay attention. Search mean what? Are you following him? Search and look. They say what? Search and look among all, all our forefathers. For out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. They say what? No prophet come from the hood. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. No prophet. So what did the Most High do? Pay attention. The Most High shut it down. What did the Most High do? Go to First Corinthians chapter one. What did the Most High do? First Corinthians chapter one and verse nineteen. I read eighteen. Sorry. First Corinthians one seventeen. Down. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize. Paul said. Yahushua didn't send me to baptize nobody, dip nobody in water. <laughs> but, 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 but to preach the gospel. To go and do what? Preach the gospel because out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Just like me. Yahushua said, he that believeth in me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He said what? Rivers of living water. First, first Corinthians 1 and 17 again. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize, dip nobody in water, but to preach the gospel. Repent for the kingdom of heaven at hand, is at hand. The gospel of the kingdom. Mark 2. What is the gospel? Mark chapter 1 and verse 15 and saying Mark 1 and 14 and 15 Now after that John was put in prison Yahushua came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God What is the gospel of the kingdom of God? And saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand Repent ye and believe the gospel Believe what? So activity 24 He that believeth take it he to the commandments of the Most High God That's the gospel Yahushua teaching Come back to the commandments of the Most High God Repent Stop, return from your sinful ways and return to the laws of the Most High God. Pay attention. Return to the laws. First Corinthians 1 and verse 17. For Mashiach sent me not to baptize. They pin water, but to preach the gospel. Repent and return to the Most High God laws. Believe the word. Not with wisdom of words. Not with what? Eloquence. Pay attention. I come in and read like a, like a, a boiler dictionary and drink the water. Pay attention. All kind of words they're hearing that you never hear, that you can't even, um, you can't even begin to process it, to, to spell them. Pay attention, because I have masters, I have doctorates, I have, I'm a theologian. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. I'm a master of the law. The most I say what? But not with the wisdom of words. Man's words and their own philosophy and their own thoughts. Pay attention. Second Peter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Pay attention. No private interpretation with what? Wisdom of words. Pay attention. Your own eloquence or your own thoughts or your, your own feelings. For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. Not your own thoughts or your own I have theology, I have masters. I have, <laughs> pay attention. I have, I'm a scholar of the law. I'm a scholar of the Bible. Pay attention. I have doctorate. I have my masterate in biblical studies. Pay attention. But what? Are you keeping one of God's laws? The most I say, the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. God's prophecy is not coming through you. God is not using you to, because you speak in what? Your own will or the will of man. Pay attention. <laughs> he said, you do in your own will. But holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. If you are a holy man of God, you're moved by who? The Holy Spirit. That's what Yahushua keeps saying. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Because the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High God and the Son, Yahushua, the Comforter, is with you. That's what's speaking about. That's what's testifying and rebuking and reproving and correcting. Pay attention. Back to 1 Corinthians 1. And verse 17, not with the wisdom of words, your own philosophy and your own teaching, pay attention, but what? 
Lest the cross of Mashiach should be made of none effect. They are nullifying the grace and the faith, becoming Yahusha, becoming the Lamb of God, John 1 29. The, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Yahusha, blood protecting us under grace and faith before he come back and bring the final judgment. So he give, give him a chance, return to them laws. Return to them laws. So they're teaching you what? They're nullifying the Lord of God by using their own wisdom, words of wisdom, their own thoughts and own feelings. He nailed him to the cross. Pay, pay attention. Blotting out the, the ordinances that was contrary to us and nailing it to the cross. Pay attention. They're teaching it to violate God's laws. He said what? Lest the what? The cross of Mashiach that he died on the cross, giving the grace and faith, becoming the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world by covering us with his blood, that he don't put us to death for all the evils that we're doing right here now. Lest the, the cross of Mashiach, his blood, should be made of none effect. Pay attention. That blood in covering here because they're teaching it to willful sin. With wisdom of words, their own philosophy, their own philosophizing, their own preaching, their own teaching. Pay attention. My scholarly education. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. I'm a biblical scholar. You need to pay attention. The most I say what? For the preaching of the, the cross, the preaching of what? Grace and faith is what? Is to them that perish foolishness. Is to what? Foolishness to them that perish because they're not teaching you to come back to the laws. They're not teaching you to forsake your ways in this life, to lose the, the, your life, use the things you love in this life, and return to the laws to save it. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Unto us which get what? Salvation or eternal everlasting life. It is the what? The power of the Most High God. Pay attention. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Those ones with the eloquent speech. Pay attention. Eloquent earthly speech. They pay attention. The eloquent earthly sermons and teachings. Pay attention. And still teaching even the ones that awake and come into the truth, pay attention, and teaching erroneous, deceptive, crafty doc doctrines. Pay attention. Handling the word of God deceitfully. Pay attention. The most I say what? It is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. And I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. The understanding of the prudent one. Pay attention. He say what? Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? The disputer of this world? Satan, Satan, teaching Satanic doctrines. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. By leaning on their own understanding, their own wisdom, they knew not God, they separated from God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. The most I say, let's go and teach. Let them mock, let them jeer, let them evil surmise, let them character assassinate, pay attention. The most I say, it please, please him. By you, when I say, thus said the Lord, pay attention. Don't have no fear, no spirit of fear, go and teach. To save them that believe. So the objective is to save the believers. The one who will what? Hear and understand. Who will read and perceive or process. <laughs> That's what the purpose is. The elect, pay attention, or the holy seed who is going to inherit the, the kingdom. Pay attention. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks also seek after wisdom. It's talking about, when it says Jews and Greeks, it's talking about the children of Israel who live in Greece. They, 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 they were Hellenized. You could refer to them as, Greek, as Greeks. In Kuz in Corinth, the Church of Corinth, who is the Church of Ephesus, the Church of, the Church of Israel and the Church of God in these regions, Ephesus, Corinth, Greek, Greek cities. But we preach Mashiach, crucified unto the Jews, a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks, foolishness. Pay attention to the Hellenized Israelites, pay attention to living in the midst of sin. Foolishness to them, and just as the what? The Jews, the Pharisees, and the followers, foolishness to them. Pay attention, as well as the, the Hellenized Israelites, Israelites in these other cities. He said, foolishness, they don't want to hear. Only the what? The ones in the churches of God or the churches of Mashiach who will hear and understand. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Mashiach the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, and not many mighty, not many noble are called, not many what? Men with accolades, and you pay attention, a scholarly accolades, Pay attention. Doctorate in, in, in the law. Doctorate in the biblical law. Pay attention. <laughs> a doctor of the Bible. Pay attention. Not many are called. The most I say, why? Well, not many mighty men are noble, powerful men with money and wealth. Not many in royalty are called. Why? But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confirm the wise. I want base men. <laughs> the most I say, I want what? Base men from Galilee, from the hood, from Nazareth. Is, is there any good thing that could come from Nazareth? Is there a, any? Look, and for out of Galilee arises no prophet. Nobody coming, no, no prophet of God, the Savior, coming from Galilee from the hood. 1 Corinthians 1 and 27, 2 and 27. 1 Corinthians 1 and 27. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, the ones with the earthly wisdom and philosophies. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty 
and the base things of the world, and things which are despised, had God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are base men, to bring down the highly educated. Pay attention. Highly educated in the doctors, doctorates of the law. Pay attention. And the masters of the law. Pay attention. The theology. Theology. And we have a hundred years experience. The most I say will use the base men to bring it down to your knees. That no flesh should glory in his presence. That what? Nobody could be flicking vain glory or pride. The most I say, what? I am good. I am the one doing it. I will take a base man and bring it down. Pay attention. No matter who you are. You need to pay attention. That you're not going to glory. And make yourself God and lords over the flock. Back to John 7 and verse 52. They answered and said unto him, Thou also of Galilee, Nicodemus, you one of him, the followers, search and look, for out of Galilee, the hood, arise that no prophet. <laughs> no prophet coming from there. Pay attention, he said, none coming from there. They wicked as hell there. He said, none coming from there. Second Timothy 4 and 1, 3, 11. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Yahushua Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Yahushua coming to what? Judge. Judge. The quick is who are quickened, who return to the law. John, go to John 6, 63. What does he mean, the quick and the dead? John chapter 6, verse 63. Who's the quick? John chapter 6, and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The spirit, the Holy Spirit, or the, by the application of the law, that's going to what quicken you or bring you back to what? Spiritual consciousness or alive. Spiritually alive. Or quicken your, your, your brain. Pay attention. The flesh profited nothing. Continuing sinful life, or loving the things of this world, it's not going to benefit you. It profits you or benefit you nothing. You're going to die. The words that I speak unto you, the what? The laws in this Bible, they are spirit. The laws in this Bible are what? Spirit. And they are life. They are going to lead you to eternal life by you keeping them. Pay attention. So that's what's going to quicken you by the application of God's laws. Statutes, commandments, judgment, testimonies, peace. You may bring it to spiritual enlightenment. Back to angels and God. To be able to dwell with angels when they come here. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. You have to elevate out of this sinful body. This sinful flesh. You leave it behind. Back to 2 Timothy 4 and 1. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Yahushua Mashiach, who shall judge the quick, the ones who are, what? Come back to the laws, the words, who apply the laws and become spiritually enlightened and the dead, the dead who continue in this lifestyle. Loving it here. Pay attention. Gonna judge these ones, the kingdom, these ones, the pit of torment or the lake of fire. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. Or oh, the, the, the second death. At his appearing and his kingdom. Because he's coming to establish the kingdom of Yahushua. You need to pay attention. He's coming to take us out of this hell. To take us into back to the garden of Eden. On a next spiritual realm. On a next spiritual level. Pay attention. A level of spirituality. Pay attention. That you, what, you, you can't die no more. You, you have become what? Quickened or brought back to life. Spiritually enlightened. You need to pay attention. Back in the spiritual frame. Back to angels. On the path to angels. Pay attention. Because he's coming to judge. Here. Right here he's coming to judge. And put to death where they can put to death. <laughs> and take reality. Pay attention. Of the children of Israel. Pay attention. Because what? Judgment must first begin at the house of God. At us. He's coming to judge us first. Pay attention. He's coming to judge us here in the diaspora to determine who is going to get in his kingdom. Who don't return will be what? Spiritually dead. They're going to get cut off right here. They're going to die. He's not going to be living out here with the heathen. Pay attention. No, you know, when Yahushua come and establish his kingdom, I repeat this, when Yahushua establishes his kingdom back in the Garden of Eden, he's going to put to death our brothers and sisters who don't return to them laws. Right here. To make it across that, 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 that border, you must be keeping them laws. You must be quickened. You must be quickened. Change in your mind. Pay attention. Coming to what? Judge the quick and the dead. At his appearing and his kingdom. Because he's coming to establish a holy kingdom of law and order. Then he's going to what? Deliver up the kingdom to the Mosai. Pay attention. When he purges earth of sin and iniquity, pay attention. He's going to establish his kingdom in the Garden of Eden, then enforce law and order throughout the earth. Who don't keep? Die. Pay attention. Then what? Deliver the kingdom to the Mosai. The Mosai will kill all these, all these heathen going, going down. When the Mosai come. That's when they're going down. All. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. All who don't return to the laws under Yahushua, they get put to death. Pay attention. Or do not in the favor of the Israelites. You need to pay attention. Back to 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Do what? He said preach the word. Be instant. In season. Out of season. Be what? Instant. Constantly. Consistently. Teach it. Thus say the Lord. Pay attention. Teach God laws. Pay attention. In season. Out of season. Reprove. 
Rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Reprove your brothers and rebuke your brothers. Leviticus 19, 17, 18. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. In your mind, by seeing your brother and your sisters in the midst of sin, and in not reproving and rebuking them, is what? That's hatred towards them. You're allowing them to get dead. Because you're coming to judge the quick and the dead. The ones who keep the law and the ones who violate the law. Lake of fire or the kingdom for you. Or, or back to the garden of Eden or the kingdom of heaven. Pay attention. He said what? So you have to rebuke them. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in your heart. And, and what? But thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Yeah. So what's the purpose of rebuke? The reproof and the rebuke? To not suffer sin upon you till get you allow you to go, get put to death when you see the danger. Know what you're just coming to do. Pay attention. 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Why are we here teaching? Because we're here. Be instant. We're loving you. We love you. Pay attention. That's love. Be instant. In season. Out of season. Reprove. Rebuke. Why are we reproving on you? And why are we rebuking you? Why are we reproving and rebuking you? Because of love. We love you. Your brothers and sisters. Pay attention. Exhorted all long suffering and doctrine. Thus say the Lord. What is the doctrine? Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsaking not my law. The doctrine is what? The laws of God. Reprove and rebuke them with what? The laws of God. Exhort with what? The laws of God. For the Second Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear it. Pay attention. He said, a time is coming, they will know what? Reject the laws of God. But after their own lusts, Shall they heap to themselves, teachers having itching ears, they want to hear what? That's why the, these camps have many following. That's why these pagan sun worship have millions and millions and millions and billions following them. Pay attention. Because they have itching ears, heaping to themselves, or brothers and sisters, teachers having itchy ears. So which God do you follow? They need to pay attention. They're following what? Doctrines of Satan. Pay attention to the God of this world. They love it. Because they don't want to hear, they have to keep the laws. They will not endure sound doctrine. We don't want to hear that man no law. Pay attention. Don't tell me no law, but keep what keep law. He nailed it to the cross. Pay attention. We are under grace and faith. By grace are you saved through faith. Pay attention. If any man be in Mashiach, he's a new creature. Pay, pay attention. He's new, but all things are passed away and behold, behold all, all, all is come new. We don't have to do nothing. <laughs> we don't have to do nothing. We all spiritual Israel. Pay attention. They will have what? Heap to themselves. Teachers have it itching ears. False teachers and false doctrine, the God of this world teaching them, Satan teaching them in these false institutions. Pay attention. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, from the laws. The laws, they will do what? Stop their ears from hearing the laws. Pay attention. And shall be turned unto fables, to lies. Lies are deceptive doc doctrine. So which God do you follow? Pay attention. Which God do you follow? The God of this world, Satan, or the Most High God? Pay attention. They're going to what? Reject the Most High God and turn unto what? The God of this world, fables. But watch thou in all things, in their afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Paul said this, go and teach, do, teach, go and do your assignment. For I am not ready to be offered. Paul said, I'm ready to die. Pay attention. I'm ready to die. I do my thing already. Pay attention. And the time of my departure is at hand. I'm about to leave. Pay attention. I've done my assignment. As Yahushua said, my time was not yet full come. Pay attention when his brethren was telling him, go up to Jerusalem to the feast. He said, my time is not yet full come. Everyone is sent for an assignment for a duration of time to do an assignment. Pay attention. <laughs> do your assignment and what? Then what? My time of departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. Your course is pause it. I have finished my assignment I was sent to do. Pay attention. Rebuke, reprove, and correct. Pay attention. I have kept the faith. Under grace and faith, I kept them law and did the laws of God, taught the laws of God. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. A what? Crown of immortality. Pay attention. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, a judgment day, for keeping the laws and teaching the laws, confessing him openly. Pay attention. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Who are going to return and repent and come back, come back, come back to the Lord? Who are going to hear and understand? Pay attention. You see what? All them. For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present world. Demas love your life here, and he go on right back into the world. Back into the life, I love my life. <laughs> he love it here and he gone. He fell away from the truth. Going right back into sin. You see, he gone, he gone, he's done. Romans chapter 1 verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Who hold the what? Pretending that they're keeping the laws. In what? And in the midst of sin. You're holding the truth in unrighteousness. You pay attention. I'm pretending I'm keeping them laws, but are still what? Cunning and craftily violating the most high God laws. Pay attention. In craftiness. So unrighteousness is sin. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. 
for God had showed it unto them. He said, what well, these know, they know, they understand. But they what? Handling it craftily, the law craftily. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. They are what? No excuse. They say they understand. You under, they understand, but they now the, the, the grace is being what? Nullified. Because that when they knew God, they what? Knew God. They understand. What does it mean to know God? First John 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know Him. If we keep His commandments. If you what? Keep His commandments. That's when they knew God. So they were, they were given the commandments. He that saith, I know Him, and keepeth not His commandment, is a liar, and the truth is not in Him. So the holding the truth of God in unrighteousness. He say what? I know God, and they, got, they don't keep the commandments. Back to um, Romans 1 and verse 20. For the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they what? Knew they were supposed to keep in commandments and laws. They glorified Him not as God. They what? Refused to keep them. They didn't pay attention. They glorified Him what? Not as God. This is uppercase G. The, the most high. They reject the most high. Pay attention. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Their own thoughts and philosophies and beliefs. I'm going to do what I want to do. I will be me. Pay attention. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. By your philosophizing or your theorizing, pay attention, of your own thoughts, your own beliefs, teaching your own prosperity doctrine, teaching your own spin, teaching crafty and cunningly wise fables, and deceptive doctrines, pay attention, pretending that they what? Holding the truth of God, the laws of God, in unrighteousness. You're pretending you're reading this book, you're reading this book, but you still have a crafty hidden agenda, deceiving the people, pay attention. Deceiving the masses still because they're haunting the elect. It's haunting the holy seed. Pay attention. They're what? Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. The most I say, I will, I will expose them. Pay attention. Because what? They're worshipping the God of this world. Pay attention. They're following the God of this world. Lowercase G-O-D. Satan teacher. Pay attention. And change the glory of the uncorruptible, uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man. They're following the image of the beast. Pay attention. Made like the corruptible man unto birds and to forfeited beasts and creeping things. They're following the God, the lowercase God of the world, Satan. Pay attention. Pay attention. Wherefore God gave them up to, un to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, their own mind, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. The most I say, what? I got give you up. Do you want to do your own thing? Go ahead. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature, Satan, more than the creator, more than the most high. Pay attention. Or the God of this world, Satan, more than the, the most high, the one true living God. Pay attention. Who is blessed forever? Amen. Pay attention. The Most High is blessed forever. Satan is cursed. Pay attention. That's sign for destruction. Pay attention. So you know better know which God is which God is you following. Psalm 35 and 1. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. David saying, Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Defend me against the men that fighting against me. Plead my cause for them. Pay attention. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame, put to shame that seek after my soul. Let the men that be what? Confounded. Pay attention. They're teaching. And what's coming out of here? They don't understand what they're teaching. Pay attention. The most is what? Confounded. And that's why I cannot change from my flawed doctrine I'm teaching, or my erroneous doctrine I'm teaching. The most is what? Confounded you. Pay attention. Let them be confounded, and put to shame that seek after my soul, because they, they, they teaching what? Another doctrine, another gospel. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. They play, pay attention, they devise any what? Your hurt, or plotting your hurt. Pay attention, to do you harm, the most I say, uh, David said, let them be turned back. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the who? The angel of the Lord, the uppercase L-O-R-D, pay, atten pay attention, chase them. Let their way be dark, and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Pay attention. If you come against the men of the Lord, guess what? <laughs> you need to pay attention because the angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fame. Psalm 34 7. So if you come against the men of the Lord that the most high God sent, you have a problem with the angel of the Lord that encampeth around them, protecting them. Pay attention. What did David say? Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Pay attention. For without cause have they hid from me their net in a pit. They're setting what traps and snares, which without cause. They have dug, dig for my soul. They are what? They are hunting the precious souls. Let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he had 
he hid. Catch himself into that very destruction, let him fall. Pay attention, all that they plot for you and plan for you, let them fall into the pit, the pit that they dig. He that they get a pit shall fall therein. That's the Lord, pay attention. They would have seen what? False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. I knew not. They falsely accusing you. They are falsely character assassinating you. The most I say what? False witness rise upon your foot, testifying, Thus said the Lord. Pay attention. They rewarded me evil for good. To the spoiling of my soul. Pay attention. The most I said, David said, they reward him what? Evil for good. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend and brother. By who? My friend and brother. Who is David talking about? His brethren. His fellow Israelites. His brethren. He said, I behaved myself, but as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I was what? Mourning for them. I humbled my soul with fasting. I was fasting for them when they go through hard times. And my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother, as my what? Close brother. Pay attention, he said, I fasted and I prayed for them. I bowed down heavily as one that mourned for his mother. But in my adversity, when I go through troubles, when I go through trials, tribulation, they rejoice, they rejoice. Pay attention. And gather themselves together. Yea, the abjects gather themselves together against me, and I knew it not. Crafty counsel. He said they gather against me in crafty counsel, secret counsel. I don't know it. They're doing things on the down low and you don't have a clue. Pay attention. They did tear me and cease not with hypocritical mockers in feasts. In what? Feast. Who go to feast? The children of Israel. His brethren he's talking about. They gnashed upon me with their teeth. They were backbiting and cutting, cut, pay attention, cutting you down. In what? And you knew it not. There David said, Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling, from their lions. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. David said they hate me without a cause. I didn't do nothing. For they speak not peace, but devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in this land. Who are going to stand up stiffly for the laws of the Most High God? They're going to devise what? Deceitful matters against you. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hood. They what? They want to see him shut down. They want to see him stop. They want to see him stop teaching. Let this honor... Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. David said, what? Let me shame, clothe with what? Shame and dishonor. Who is David talking about? 1 Samuel 24 and 1. He's talking about the heathen. Let's keep reading. 1 Samuel chapter 24, reading verse 1. And it came to pass when Saul was returned from following the Philistine, and it was told him, saying, Behold, David, said, David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats. And he came to the sheep coast by the way, where was a cave, and Saul went, went in to cover his feet. And David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thy hand. He said, David said, The most I revealed to me, I will deliver your enemy into thy hand. Pay attention. You see what? It's here. Look where Saul come. Right in the cave where we are. Pay attention. He said, We're right in here, and he come and lay down to sleep. Pay attention. The most he said, What? I will deliver the enemy into thy hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto thee. The most I revealed to David, I will deliver him into your hand. You do to him as what? You see, please. Then David arose and cut off the skirts of Saul's robe privily. David and his men were hiding right in the cave, and Saul and his men come and rest outside, and Saul went to the cave to sleep. Right there. And David said, You see, look, the most I delivered him to me. Pay attention. He didn't have a clue they were in there. And David, what? Cut off his robe while he's sleeping. And it came to pass, afterward that David's heart smote him, he felt guilty, because he had cut off Saul's good. He said, what? And he said unto his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed. He said, The Lord anointed him to be king. David said, I can't kill him. To stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he's the anointed of the Lord. David said, I can't kill him. To Moses, I set him up as king. So David stayed his servants with these words and suffered them not to rise against Saul. He said, Abishai and these men, he said, these mighty men, he said, don't kill him. <laughs> don't rise against him. But Saul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. So he wake from his sleep and he gone out. David also rose afterwards and went out of the cave. David came out of the cave behind him. And cried after Saul, saying, My lord the king. And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed down himself to him. He gave obeisance to him. And David said, Hunting it to put it to death, but he still bowed him. And David said to Saul, Wherefore hearest thou men's words saying, Behold, David seeketh thy hood. He said, Saul, why are people saying I trying to kill you? Behold, this day thine eyes have seen how that the Lord had delivered thee today into mine hand in the cave. He said, you came in your sleep and I cut your, cut your skirt off. I could have put you to death. The most I deliver you to me. Pay attention. 
He said, but, and I what? And I spare thee. He said, I spare you. And I said, I will not put my hand against my Lord, for he's the Lord's anointed. So why are people saying that I'm trying to kill you? That's what we telling him. He said, they're saying, I'm hunting you. I'm not hunting you. I don't want to kill you. Moreover, my father, see you. See the skirt of thy robe in my hand. He said, what? Look. Look what I cut off for you. For in, in that I cut off the skirt of thy robe and killed thee not. He said, what? I was close enough and I take, cut the skirt out. I could have put it to death right while he's sleeping. And all the soldiers were outside. Thou know, so we know thou, and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in mine hand, and I have not sinned against thee, yet thou huntest my soul to take it. He said, what? David said, I didn't do nothing. Why are you trying to kill me? And he's saying, I want to kill you. Why are you hunting me? The, he said, I have no transgression or violation. The Lord judge between me and thee, and the Lord avenge me of thee. But mine hand shall not be upon thee. As said the proverb, proverb of the ancients, as said the what? The proverbs or the saying of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. He said what? Wickedness proceeded from the wicked. He, called, he, called, he tells all, he said, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. He tells you, wicked as hell. He said what? Wickedness, you hunted me to kill me for, for no reason. I didn't do nothing against you. He said, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. What did the, what would, would David pay for in Psalm? Plead my cause, Psalm 35 and 1. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me and fight against them that fight against me. Pay attention. Wickedness proceeded from the wicked. Back to 1 Samuel 24 and verse 14. But my hand shall not be upon thee. He said, David said, I'm putting a, map, a finger against you to kill you. After whom is the king of Israel come out? So David said, after who, who are you trying to kill? Why you come after me? After whom thou dost, thou dost pursue, pursue? After whom dost thou pursue? After a dead dog? After a flea? He said, coming after me like a, like a dead dog or a flea. The Lord therefore be judge, and judge between me and thee. And see, and plead my cause, and deliver me out of thy hand. The, he said, what? The Lord will judge between me, David, and you, Saul, and will plead my cause, and deliver me out of thy hand. Back to Psalm 35 and 1. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. David said, the battle is yours, Lord. Pay attention. He said, I ain't taking up arms and killing, put it to death, but the most I will what? Plead my cause. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. The Lord will deal with it. That's the Lord's judgment. That's what he said. Let the Lord judge it. Back to 1 Samuel 24 and verse 15. The Lord therefore be judge and judge between me and thee. And see and plead my cause and deliver me out of thy hand because they said, The most I know, I didn't do nothing. Pay attention. And you're seeking to kill me unjustifiably. And it came to pass when David had made an end of speaking these words unto Saul, that Saul said, Is this thy voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his voice and wept. And he said to David, Thou art more righteous than I, for thou hast rewarded me good, whereas I have rewarded the evil. And thou hast showed me this day how that, ma how that thou hast dealt well with me. For as much as when the Lord had delivered me into thine hand, thou killest me not. He said, what? You didn't put me to death. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? He said, if he find the enemy, will he leave him? No, you put him to death. Wherefore, the Lord reward thee good for that thou hast done unto me this day. And now behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be king. He said, what? I understand what? The Most High has chosen, chosen you to be king. I'm done. And that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in thine hand. Swear now therefore unto me my, by the Lord, that thou wilt not cut off my seed after me, and thou should not destroy my name out of thy father's house. Don't kill my children. <laughs> Don't kill my children. John 12 and 37. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Yahushua was doing miracles in front of the people, healing and bringing the people to repentance. And they did not. many of them did not believe still. That the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake. Lord, who had believed our report? Isaiah said, who could believe? Who could believe? What are we teaching? And to whom had the arm of the Lord been revealed? Who had the what? The arm of the Lord, the understanding of, of, of the, the power of the Mosai. Who it has it been revealed to? Therefore they could not believe. I, this is what he said, what? Yeah, we shall say. They could not believe because that Isaiah had said again, he had blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, their mind, and be converted, and I should heal them. He had what? Blinded their eyes. Because who? The God of this world, he allows Satan to blind them spiritually and harden their heart. Harden what? Their mind. Pay attention. That, because of what? He put pride in them. That they should not see with their eyes. They read in the book, but they're not what? Perceiving what they're reading. Nor understand with their heart. Nor what? Process 
what they're hearing and be converted or changed or be baptized or be changed in your mind. Pay attention by the renewing of your mind and I should heal them. So if it don't be changed or converted back to the laws of God from our sinful lifestyles, you cannot be healed or you're going to die. You're going to be damned or get damnation or condemnation right here. You'll be destroyed or cast off. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and speak of him. When he did what? Saw the glory and speak of him. Isaiah said, when I, Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1 again. Isaiah 6 and 1 again. When he saw what? The glory of the Most High. Isaiah 6 and 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne and high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Peter, he said, I see the Most High. Verse 5. Then said I, woe is me, I'm going to die. For I am undone, I'm going to get put to death. Because I am a man of unclean lips, I'm just a mere mortal. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of sinners. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts, the Most High. You see what? I see the Most High. Back to John 12 and verse 41. These things said Isaiah, when he saw his glory and speak of him. Saw the Most High glory and speak of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. So some of them would believe in what? The teaching of Yahushua. Pay attention. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. Pay attention. They did not what? Openly confess him or teach or testify. Pay attention. So they're going to die the same way. Pay attention. Lest they should be put out of the synagogue. They don't want to lose their rank. They don't want to be stripped of their rank. You need to pay attention. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. They what? So why would you? You need to be put out of the what? The synagogue. Why would they put in the men of God or the synagogue? <laughs> you need to pay attention. Because they believe on Yahushua, which means if they don't believe on Yahushua and in the synagogue, they will serve in who? The God of this world. Pay attention. So they're not going to confess or testify Yahushua teaching, which is the most high God laws. What did Yahushua come and teach? Keep reading. They did not confess him. What Yahushua came and taught them, they're not going to go and teach it because they don't want to do it. They're not doing it. Lest they should be put out of the synagogue, they don't want to lose their rank. Pay attention. Their prestige. For they love the praise of men. They love what? The praise of men. More than the praise of God. So if they have not, they love the praise of men more than the praise of the most side, which God are they following? The God of this world. In their what? In their synagogue. Satan. Pay attention. Jehoshua cried and said, He that believeth on me, who taketh heed to the commandments, who gonna, what I'm teaching them, believeth not on me. Jehoshua said, You ain't following me. You ain't doing me no favors. <laughs> Jehoshua said, What? Well, I'm just a messenger. I'm just a vessel channeling the Most High God's word. As he sent prophets in the last day to channel the Most High God's word. So if you don't believe on them, you're not, believe, you're not doing the prophet nothing. You're what? He that believeth on me, what I teach him, believeth not on me. He said, not my words, or not my feelings, or not my, 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 my teachings, but on him, on the Most High that sent me. He said, when you believe the doctrine here, and you understand the teachings, and repent and return to them laws, you believe on the Most High. Pay attention. And he that seeth me, See him that sent me because me and my father look the same way. As the Bible described me, the both side is the same. You need to pay attention to Revelation 1, 14 to 15. You need to pay attention. A man with woody hair, pay attention. And dark brown, pay attention. As the skin that burned in a furnace. As the most side described in Daniel 7 and 9. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did say the most side. You pay attention. Who had on a garment? Pay attention. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, all rulership on this earth going down. And the ancient of days did said, The Most High, whose garment was as white as snow, pure woolly garment, he had on clothes, he had a body. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool, pure woolly hair, kinky curly hair as the hair, the hair on the head of a Negro. Kinky curly hair as the hair on the head of a Negro. Pay attention. Yahushua said what? Back to John 12 and 45. He that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. As Yahushua described in Revelation 1 and 14 and 15. Pay attention. The hair what? Pure woolly hair and the dark brown, dark brown skin as the burn in a furnace. And the feet, his feet as they were burnt in a furnace, burn in a furnace, dark brown. Just as my father. He said, if you see me, you see my father. So what does the most I look like? <laughs> Pay attention. The most I see, Yahweh says, if you see me, he that see at me, physically walking here with you, see at him that sent me. You see the most I. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. They're men on higher spiritual planes. You need to pay attention. <laughs> that can take on different forms. Pay attention. Transform into different forms. He said what? If you see me, you see the Father. He that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. The Most High. I am coming light into the world. The law. Coming the law. The Most High sent me with the law. 
I'm come a light into the world. Proverbs 6.23, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. I come, the law is made fresh and manifest alone. I'm walk among you. Teach you need to repent. Come and keep them laws. That whosoever believeth on, on me should not abide in darkness. Whosoever take heed to what I'm teaching, the laws, the laws, should not abide in darkness. So iniquity and sin are abomination according to Surah 17, 24 through 20. Surah 17, 24 through 26. Darkness is abomination, iniquity and sin. And if any man hear my words, which is the laws and the commandments and testimonies and precepts, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, is because there is no light in him. Isaiah 8 and 20. Whosoever heareth what the Lord hath teaching, and believe it not, reject it, continue living the lifestyles here. I judge him not. He said, I didn't come here to judge not. No, I come to what? I came to teach repentance. Pay attention. For I came not to judge the world. At this time, physically as a man walking among you, I didn't come to judge. I come to teach you. Repent. This is the way you walk in it. You're, you're, you're walking erroneously. You're teaching erroneous doctrines. That way I wish I keep, came and taught. These rulers, they're teaching erroneous doctrines. So I come to, I was sent by the Most High to correct it. Pay attention. I didn't come to judge them, but to correct it. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Bring sinners to repentance. Pay attention. He that rejected me or refused the teaching, refused the reproof, the rebuke and the correction, and receiveth not my words, don't want to keep them laws, pay attention, had one that judged him. The word, the what? The same law that you rejecting, refusing to keep. That I have spoken, the word that I have spoken, the law, commandments, statutes, judgment, testimony, precept that I tell you, repent and return to, the same shall judge him in the last day. They're going to be judged by what? The law in the last day, Revelation 20. <laughs> Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life, the Bible, the law, the biblical, the books of laws, and the book of your life. Where they kept the law, violated the law, the documentation of your life. Pay attention. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works, whether they kept the law or violated the law. Everlasting life or the lake of fire. Pay attention. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works, whether they kept the law, violated the law. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, who refused to keep them laws, who continued loving the lifestyles here. Pay attention. Cast into what? The lake of fire or the pit of torment, which is what? The second death, the depths of hell. Pay attention. It's not the talk about this, this earthly realm hell. It's talking about the pit of torment. Torment, the lake of fire. This is the second death. The second what? Death. Destruction of your soul. Pay attention. This is the second death. Destruction of your soul. Pay attention. This is the first death. <laughs> pay attention. We fall from the kingdom. You need to pay attention. We got booted out of the garden of Eden. So, the second death is when you come and if you don't keep the law, pit of torment for you. Pay attention. We are physically alive here, but spiritually dead. So that's the first death. But the coming to give you what? The second death. Torment. Pay attention. Physically dead. Spiritually dead. Physically dead. Torment. That's the second death. It does say the Lord. John 12 and verse 48. He that rejected me and received not my words. If you don't want to repent and return to them laws. He that rejected me and received not my words. Had one that rejected him. The word that I have spoken. The laws. The same shall judge him in the last day, as we read in Revelation 12, 13, 14. The law is going to judge him in the last day, whether he lined up, whether he kept them or not. For I have not spoken of myself, I never came and give you grace and faith and tell you, don't keep no laws. But the Father which sent me, the most I sent me, he gave me a commandment. The most I gave you, which are commandment, laws, such as commandment, judgment, testimonies, precepts, ordinances. What I should say, what to go and teach them, go and tell them, come back to my laws. And what I should speak, go and tell them, repent and come back to my laws. And I know that His commandment, the Most High, is life everlasting. Pay attention, is what? Forever. Baruch 4 1, this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever, forever, everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, this is John 12 and 50, whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Yahushua say, I speak in God's word. So who's speaking to Him? The Most High, the Holy Spirit. That we said, the prophets of God, We'll speak God's word. Ask God, the most high God, command them. Go and say, thus say the Lord. Pay attention. That's why they had a prophet, a problem with all the apostles and the prophets. Pay attention. They always have a problem with the men of the Lord. Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? For the most I say, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, the violators of the law? Or rise up for me, go and testify, 
my, my Savior openly, my law, statutes, commandments against the what evil doers of the violators of the law. Pay attention. Who? Who would do it? Which are Matthew 4. Matthew 4 and 1. Who would do it? Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Then was Yahushua led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. To be what? Tempted of the devil. Who's the devil to have power to tempt the Son of God? Pay attention. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards a hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. So he's giving Yahushua commandments in a subtle, crafty way. He said, command that stone to, to be turned to bread, if he's, if he's the Son of God. Just as he tempted Eve. But the, the title of the class, which God do you follow? Pay attention. Satan is coming and trying to get Yahushua to what? Follow him. You need to pay attention. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Physical earthly bread can give you what? Eternal life. That's what he's talking about. He must eat earthly bread to live. Physically. But the, the bread he's talking about is what? You need what? Spiritual bread. Which is the word, the laws of God in your life. But by every word. Every what? Every word. This is Deuteronomy 8 and 3. Man shall not live by bread and look. What is the actual quote, quote in? Old Testament. Pay attention. Deuteronomy 8 verse 3. Deuteronomy 8 and 8. I reading 1 to 3. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall you observe to do, that he may live. Moses said to the children of Israel, do all these commandments that you're going to what? Live, get everlasting life or eternal life. Pay attention. And multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee. The purpose of teaching these laws is to but humble your spirit from pride and arrogance and to prove you whether you're going to know what was in thine heart. What's here? Whether you're going to follow me? Whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no? The most high, the purpose of these laws is to know if you're going to follow the most high. Which God do you follow? Pay attention. Now we say the most high has proven us, our brothers and sisters, to know which God do you follow? Whether you're going to follow me or the God of this world, Satan. Pay attention. So if you refuse to keep the commandments, the most I say, I know you, you, you're not following me, you're following this, the devil, Satan. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know, but that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread alone, physical bread. That we say, it's not, it's proven to you, physical bread, he gave them angel food. Pay attention, that sustain them. Pay attention, the eating this little thing and it sustain them. Energy, go in. Believe in me, trust in me, and I go guide you away. But by every word of God. The most I say you're going to live or get eternal life. Not by bread alone. By physical bread alone. But by what? Every law. The word is what? Every law. That proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. That man live. What the word coming out of the mouth of the Lord? Law and statutes, commandment, judgment, testimonies, precepts. By the laws. That's what will give you life. Or everlasting life. Back to Matthew 4 and verse 4. But he answered and said, Yahushua, it is written. Where? Deuteronomy 8 and 3. Man shall not live by bread alone, physical bread, but by every word or every law that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The, every word is what? Every law, Isaiah 8 and 20. The law is the word. The, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. He said, Trace off of Yahushua, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. He said, What? The angel will come and catch you, Yahushua. Throw yourself down. Yahushua said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. He's a tempter. He's a tempter. Pay attention. He's there to see if you will follow his orders. That means he's telling Yahushua, he's backing out commands. Do this. Do that. Pay attention. Violate it. Violate God's laws. In other words, follow me. Again, the devil taketh him up in an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. He did what? He showed what? All the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, the wealth and the possession, material wealth, material possessions. Pay attention and say it unto him. All these things, all these wealth and possessions, earthly wealth and possession, all these things will I give thee. I who? Who is the devil that have power to give you wealth? Pay attention. Because he's the God of this world. This is his realm. Satan realm. You Israelite brothers and sisters, you are in your hell. This is your first death. From the Garden of Eden, we being kicked out from Adam and Eve. We are in our first death. Spiritually dead. Pay attention. The first death, spiritually dead. That's why we're in hell, in Satan's realm. This is the kingdom of the heathen. You pay attention. And you say what? I will give you what? Because we're living a life up here in our spiritually dead state. Pay attention. You say, I will give thee if you obey me. If, stipulation is what? I will give you all the glory and the power and the wealth on this earth. If, 
thou will fall down and worship me. He tell you, so if you fall down and worship me, I will give you all the power, the monetary wealth. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. He said, what if you fall down and worship me? So which God do you follow? Pay attention. The most high or the God of this world, Satan. Pay attention. Then said Ahushua unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, the Mosai, and him only shall also. They will say, I will follow what? The Mosai. And serve who? The Mosai. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Yahushua had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. So he went back to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast. Which is upon the sea coast. In the borders of Zabulon and Naphtali. Naphtali, Zabulon and Naphtali. Northern Kingdom tribes. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, Northern Kingdom tribes, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. So when you're in Galilee of the Gentiles, it's talking about the Northern Kingdom, the Northern, Northern Ten tribes. Naphtali, Zebulun, you call them Galilee. Yahushua was what? Yahushua of Galilee. You call them of the Gentiles. Israelites who don't know who they were, pay attention, living in, in that's what they say, could there any prophet come from Galilee? Pay attention, they were in the midst of wickedness up in Galilee, Northern Kingdom. The people with certain darkness or iniquity or sin or abomination, Surak 17 26, darkness is what? Iniquity, sin or abomination, Surak 17 24 to 26. And the people with certain darkness, got Surak 17, that goes 26, two whole things. Surak 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, who return to them laws, he granted them return. Pay attention. Return to me, and I will return to you. Stipulation. And comforted those that feel in patience. Return unto the Lord, and forsake thy sins. So returning to the Most High God means what? You have to give up your sin for life. You have to return and keep the laws. Pay attention. Make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. Stop, stop offending his, God, his laws. Stop offending the laws of God daily, as you learn, apply. As you learn, apply. Turn again to the Most High, and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell, and hate thou abomination vehemently. So the darkness is iniquity, sin, and abomination, or offense of the Most High God laws. Pay attention. Or forsaking the Most High God laws. Go back to Matthew 4 and 16. The people were sat in darkness, or iniquity, sin, or abomination, saw great light, the law, they returned to the laws. And to them, which sat in the region and shadow of death, the what? The wages of sin is death. They was living a sinful lifestyle. Light is sprung up. The tribe, the northern ten tribes, will live in, in the midst of lascivious lifestyle, like the natural heathen Gentiles. So that's why they refer to, refer to them as Galilee of the Gentiles. From that time, Yahushua began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are teaching them what? Return to God's laws. Pay attention, it's because they were lost in sin. And Yahushua walked by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon and called Peter and Andrew's brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He said, What? Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw two other brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. And he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Yahushua went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Return to the laws of the Most High God. And healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases, diseases and torments. And those which were possessed with devils. And those which were lunatics. And those that had palsy. And he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee. And from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond Jordan. They were following him. What was he teaching? Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He was teaching them, return to the laws. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. You must, through what? Much tribulation, trials, tribulation, you have to overcome the sins, and the traps, and the snares, that the what? The God of this world is... Throwing in your path. Pay, pay attention. Which God do you follow? Go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Because you have much people, what? Follow them. We, what was he barking commands? Follow me. What's he talking about? Just walk behind me. Walk behind me. He was saying, repent. Return to them laws. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be you followers of me, even as I am of Mashiach. Paul said, follow me as I am of Mashiach. What was Paul teaching? 
the laws, statutes, commandments, judgment, testimonies, you're teaching the, the, his brethren to repent. Come back and keep them laws. As I what? Follow Yahushua, teach me to repent. Come back and keep the laws. So he said, follow me as I follow him. 1 Kings 9, 6-9. 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 6-9. through 1 Kings 9 and 6. But if you shall at all turn from following me, the Most High, ye or your children, I will not keep my commandments and my statutes, which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods and worship them. So the Most High say, if you children of Israel turn from what? Following him. What does it mean to follow the Most High? Ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments. Attention, so following the Moses is what? Keeping his commandments and my statutes. Following the Moses is what? Keeping his commandments and his statutes. Pay attention. Then I will, will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them, and this house which I have hallowed for my name, will I cast out of my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all the people. But what happened to us now? For refuse not following the Most High God. Not following what? The Most High God. But keep not keeping His commandments and His statutes. Pay attention. And at this house, which is high, everyone that passeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss. And he shall say, Why had the Lord done this unto this land, unto this house? Why did the Most High sack our land? Pay attention. And they shall answer, Because they forsook the Lord their God, who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and have taken hold upon other gods, and have worshipped them, and served them, Therefore had the Lord brought upon them all this evil. For what? Not following him by keep, not keeping his commandments and his statutes. So they're following who? The God of this world. Because what? which God do you follow? Pay attention. The most I say, follow, don't follow me, you're following the God of this world. Satan. Pay attention. First Maccabees 2 27. First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 27. When Yahushua keeps saying, follow me. Follow me. Pay attention. What is he what is he saying? What is he saying? First Maccabees 2 27. I read 26. Thus dealt, thus dealt he zealously for the law of God, like as Phineas did unto Zambri, the son of Salom. And Mattathias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law and maintain the covenant, let him follow me. All who have the zeal, zealous to keep God's laws and maintain, keep the covenant between the Mosai, follow me. Pay attention. So he and his sons fled into the mountains and left. All that they ever had in the city. They left what? The things of the whole. Pay attention. Leave that behind. Pay attention. That'll mean nothing. Keep them laws. Let's go. Pay attention. You pay attention. First Samuel 15, 11. That way the devil tell you, Shall bow down and worship me. And I will give you all the glory of here. The wealth and possession you want. First Samuel 15, 11. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 11. It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he has turned back from following me. And had not performed my commandments. The most I say, I repent, I regret setting up Saul as king. Because what? He turned back from what? Following me by not doing what? Performing my commandments. Because he's not doing what I'm commanding to do. So that means following me or following more, the most I when you just say follow me. He means what? Perform the commandments. Do the law. He was what? How was he healing these people? How we, was he casting out devils and demons? By bringing them back to the law. And the demons have to flee. You need to pay attention. First Samuel 15, 22. And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great delight or pleasure in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Samuel said, Saul, did the most I care about animal sacrifice as in you obeying the commandments? So the first commandment I give you, do it. Pay attention. The relief law, animal sacrifice is a relief. A relief law to stop me from putting you to death. So when I say they don't do this, the most I say, just don't do it. Pay attention. Does the Most High have great delight in burnt offerings? Under their grace and faith, when the Most High say, keep them commandments, keep that, keep it. When you're abusing your grace, the Most High don't have pleasure in that. Pay attention. He don't have delight in that. Just as he don't have delight in animal sacrifices. Pay attention. He wants you to keep the law. I give you the commandments, keep it. The animal sacrifice is a relief, Lord. Your grace and faith is a relief. Pay attention. That I don't put it to death immediately for a sin, but I will put it to death in the end if you don't return to them laws. Pay attention. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. To do what? Obey the commandments. Follow me by doing, performing my commandments. That's better than what? Killing the sacrifice after you sin, after you break my commandments. You need to pay attention. The most I say, killing that animal after this, I have no pleasure in that. That's willful sin. That way Yahushua came and done away with animal sacrifice. He says, willful, willful sin. Which God do you follow? Behold, to obey. What, what I command you, the laws, is better than sacrifice. 
you break the law, you don't violate already, and then sacrifice an animal to offset the death penalty that, that is associated with that, your violation of the law. The most I say, just obey the law. Because you're not following me. Every time you violate the law, you're not following me. You need to pay attention. You turn back from following me. So the most I say, I'll cast you. He cast off Saul. And to hearken, and to do what? Listen. Then the fat of rams, listen to the law that I command in you and do it. Then start killing the animal for you willfully breaking it. Pay attention. For rebellion, the most I call it what? Rebellion. So under grace and faith, our brothers and sisters that continue willfully sinning and refusing to come back to the most I God laws, pay attention, they are in the midst of rebellion. The most I say what? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Is the what? Sin. You're in the midst of willful sin every time you're violating the most I God laws. Pay attention. You're not doing, you're hearing and you're not doing, you're in, rebell you're in rebellion and in the midst of sin. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. It's a sin. It's a what? Sin, equitable or in equal proportions to witchcraft. Pay attention. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Continue to do your own will. Be in what? Pride, full of pride and arrogance and, and not willing to change. When the most I send in the correction and I still keep in teaching my false doctrines, erroneous doctrines and not taking the reproof and the rebuke, is what stubbornness is an iniquity and idolatry in the midst of idolatry. You're worshiping not the God of this world. Which God do you follow? You're following Satan. You're an idolater for your own rebellion. Pay attention or willful sin. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. You rejected what? The commandments and the test the, the statutes. You're rejecting or refusing to follow them. Pay attention. He is turned back from following me. From what? Keeping my commandments. You're rejecting the word of the Lord. He had also rejected thee from being king. That's why he rejects Saul. So, so, so. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. For what? Rebellion against the Most High God, but refusing to follow him and perform his commandments is rebellion and is a sin of witchcraft, equitable to witchcraft. And stubbornness is as, is as iniquity and idolatry. Being stubborn of pride, full of pride and arrogance, and pay attention, and refusing to change or conform to the Most High God laws by following him and performing his commandments is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, you are rejecting the Most High God. Pay attention. You are haters of God. The, the Lord had rejected thee from being king. That's why you reject um, Saul from being king. Because you don't want to follow the commandments. If you don't want to do what the Most High tell you, he said, well, cast you out. I will cast you out. I will cast you out. Matthew 5, 48. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Read, um, read Matthew 4 and verse Matthew 4 19. And he said unto them, Yahushua, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So what is he telling you? Keep the most high commandments. Perform the most high commandments. You need to pay attention. Keep my commandments and my statutes. According to 1 Kings 9 and 6 7. Keep the commandments and the statutes. That's what it means to follow me. Be zealous for keeping the laws. 1 Maccabees 2 27. That's what it means to follow me. And follow me. That's what it means. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And straight where they left their nets and followed him, they start to confess and forsake their sins. This is the whole parable about in Matthew 4. They start to confess their sins and fo follow him. That's why what? And his fame went throughout, Matthew 4, 24, and his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments. Tormented by what? Demons. Sick with what? Demons. Devils. And those which were possessed with devils. They were what? Possessed with devils and tormented with devils. And those which were lunatic because they were worshipping Satan. And those that had the palsy and he healed them. By what? Teaching them what? The commandments and the statutes. Be zealous for keeping God's laws. Bringing them back to the laws. Pay attention. And they followed him over. They become zealous for keeping the laws. Repent and confess and forsake their sins. Great multitudes of people from Galilee and Decapolis and Jerusalem and Judea. They started what? Repent and keep the laws. Come back to the laws. That's what we're talking about. Follow me. Not walk up and down behind me. Pay attention. Which God do you follow? Pay attention. They will say, keep them laws. Matthew 5, 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. He said, keep them laws just as the Most High. Because the Most High give us the laws because He know His elect, my chosen, will keep it. They can follow me. They will follow me. Pay attention. I know these spirits. They will follow me. They will do it. Pay attention. They can do it. Because I am putting my Holy Spirit in them. Pay attention. I will lead them out of this pit, out of this hell. Recover from the first death, pay attention, or spiritual death, to bring you, become back spiritually enlightened again, back as Adam in the Garden of Eden. Pay attention. I pray you get some understanding from today's class, what it means to follow. Which God do you follow? Whether you follow the Most High God, the One True Living God, or the God of this whole lowercase G.O.D., Satan. Pay attention. Lucifer, the devil. <laughs> pay attention. Whether you follow Him or you follow the Most High. So by violating the Most High God laws, 
continually and refusing to come, come back and keep them when they miss you in the midst of rebellion or stubbornness or idolatry or witchcraft or iniquity that the Most High equate every one of our brothers and sisters that refuse to return and repent and keep them lost. He equate you to rebellion, stubbornness or iniquity and idolatry. Pay attention. I pray you get some understanding from today's class. Shalom.